You know, about the only thing better than a new RC is a new set of tools for your RC. That's what we're talking about today. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and keeping each other safe. I've got a bit of a different video today because we're talking about hand tools, specifically this little set right here that just arrived. This is a Tamiya Craft Tools eight piece RC tool set. It's item number 74085. Now, before I get into this video, I do need to say, this is not sponsored by Tamiya, nor did they send this set to me. I paid for this set with my own money, and whatever I say in this video is my own unbiased opinion. Now, off the bat, if you're looking for a good, basic, or beginner RC tool kit uh, to get you beyond those T-wrenches and Allen keys that are typically included in many RC and ready-to-run kits, uh, there's a lot of different options out there. And like anything else, some are super cheap and kind of questionable quality, uh, while others are great quality but can come at a bit of a hefty price tag. So after a fair bit of research on my part, I actually decided on this kit here. And I did so for a couple of reasons. Now the first reason is because this kit is truly a good option when you're looking for uh, a high quality set of RC tools without breaking the bank. This set cost me about 30 bucks on Amazon. And it typically has a retail price of around 35, maybe 40 bucks uh, if you find it out on the store shelves. Now it's not the cheapest set on the market, uh, but far from the most expensive, especially when you consider what you're getting. Now, now, what are you getting, you might ask? Well, let's open this thing up and take a look at it, what you actually get. So inside, you actually get eight unique tools, um, all of which actually share this very nice uh, triangular handle design. Uh, this is not only uh, very nice to sort of hold and quite comfortable in the hand, but it also prevents the tool from rolling off your table if you happen to just put it down while you're working. Now, the tools themselves, you get three hex wrenches, uh, a 1.5 millimeter, a two millimeter, and a 2.5 millimeter. You get two box end wrenches. So you get a 5.5 millimeter and a seven millimeter. 7mm is perfect for things like uh, wheel nuts, the flange wheel nuts that you find on virtually every 110 scale RC car. You get a flathead screwdriver, which is largely meant for adjusting the needle valves on nitro engines. And you get a medium and a large screwdriver. Now, you'll notice I didn't say Phillips head screwdriver. And there's a reason for that. Uh, these are actually not Phillips head screwdrivers. Instead, these are Japanese industrial standard screwdrivers. Now, if you're a fan of Tamiya RC vehicles, and I believe most Japanese uh, uh, RC vehicles fall under the same sort of umbrella, uh, Tamiya is notorious for using uh, Japanese industrial standard fasteners instead of Phillips head fasteners. And if you've been uh, building Tamiya uh, RC cars uh, for a while, you'll know the frustration of uh, rounding off and uh, sort of ruining the head of those, uh, what you think are Phillips head fasteners. But in reality, they're Japanese industrial standard fasteners. And so using a set like this will certainly help prevent uh, from ruining those fasteners and just causing unneeded frustration. Now, I should also mention, by the way, these are uh, perfectly fine to be used in standard issue uh, Phillips head fasteners as well. Now, beyond uh, the eight basic tools that I I've just mentioned, uh, you also get uh, this uh, grip handle, uh, which shares the same sort of 
triangular shape as the rest of the tools, preventing it from rolling off a table if you put it down. Uh, now this handle is actually really well thought out. So first off, it allows you to insert any of the tools into it for regular use. It gives you a, a larger handle to hold on to, which makes it a little bit more comfortable um, when using it uh, as you normally would use a screwdriver. However, in those instances where you need a little bit more torque, you can actually remove the tool and insert it into a hole on the back end, turning this into a T-handle, giving you a little bit more torque whenever you need to drive in or maybe remove any of those stubborn fasteners. This is a fantastic design idea, and frankly, it's actually quite unique with respect to RC tools. And of course, uh, I can't forget that everything is neatly arranged and organized in this very nice uh, tool holder, uh, as well as this clear cover, which not only makes it very, very uh, convenient uh, to use, but also makes it quite easy uh, to transport. I have to say, I'm actually extremely impressed with this little kit. Uh, for the money, uh, there's a great variety of most used tools. Uh, the tool designs uh, are well thought out and they seem to be made of relatively high quality materials. I'm actually really looking forward to a lot of years of enjoyment using these tools. So there you have it. If you're in the market for a good set of RC tools, you should definitely consider the Tamiya Craft Tools 8-piece RC Toolkit. I'll leave a link in the description below uh, in case you're interested in pur purchasing yourself a set. Thanks very much for watching guys. I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, hit that like button. It uh, really helps the channel out a lot. And hey, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell as well so you get notified whenever a new video is posted. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.